hello everyone and welcome to my channel um today's video i want to share with you guys how i season my chickens and my steak and also how i make them last longer if you guys are new in my channel my name is elizabeth and you can call me ellie thank you so much for visiting um but yeah if you guys are interested please stay tuned all right so let's get started these are all of the things the tools and ingredients that i would be using to season my meat so I will definitely be needing my knife and my cutting board and for the veggies I will be using peppers, carrots, onions, cilantro, um, lemon, garlic, that's about it for that and for my seasoning I'm going to use paprika just so you guys know, know I'm going to be doing different kinds of flavors they're not all going to be the same all right so basically for the first step that we're going to do we're going to take a big pot or a big container and we're going to put our meat inside going to open it up all right so okay so for the red meat i forgot to tell you guys that i ordered it to be cut in three different uh, ways so ground beef cubes shape and steak so they're all going to be different on um, the ground beef I don't wash but I'll wash the other ones and I'll show you how I do the best since it's a lot of meat I want for the meat to last longer because there's only three of us so the tip for me for it to last longer in the freezer is to season it I know they said that they still last longer in the freezer, but you know that meat has an expiration date. And I don't trust that, so I season my meat, I make sure that I add salt to the ingredient so that it lasts longer, and it works for me. Um, but let's get started. So the first thing I, to, I like to do, like I show you guys, we're going to clean our meat. I'm going to be using white vinegar, distilled 5% acid. It doesn't matter which vinegar you get, as long as it's vinegar, it does the job. So, we're going to add some. A good amount. And I'm going to throw some water on it. And I'm just going to clean it with my hands. Okay, so while the meat is with the vinegar cutting clean, I'm going to prepare my veggie seasoning, which I add for us to have some veggies in our food. I'm going to be using for this some carrots, onions, garlic, green pepper, and of course, cilantro. After I cut everything, I'm gonna put it in the blender and I'm going to add some salsa onto it. I'll show you guys in a little bit. All of my veggies are super duper clean. I'm going to sprinkle some vinegar on it. Make sure. Disinfect them as well. And the water. So for the veggies, I'm just going to add water and we're going to blend it. And stand in our way. If you'd stay here, it'd be more than okay. Cause there's nothing that can stand in the way. You're the one that I want. 
I like to add this to my meat, this um, veggie seasoning, because it's good for kids and for you. If you don't like the, if you if your kids don't like to see veggies in their food, this is a good option. You could add this to beans, rice, um, to season your meat, and then you know you add your flavor. You could also add the flavor inside of any like salt, pepper, or anything. I'll blend it in as well. But since this one is a bit smaller and this is the only one that I use to blend my veggies. I don't use my big blender because that's for juices. Um, but um, yeah, it's a good, it's a good way to hide the veggies from your kids. Okay, so for the steak, for the seasoning flavor that I'm going to be adding, I'll let you guys know. I'm going to be adding some Sazon Ranchero. I'll leave the link under the description for you guys. I'm going to be adding some of this. I don't measure my seasoning. I'm just going to show you what it's I grab a big spoon, the huge ones. And then... I'm going to put one big one. Actually, I might add two because... It's a lot of meat. It depends on the meat, the, the amount of meat you guys are seeing. I'm going to be adding two of those. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. Just a little bit, not too much. Some pepper. My favorite, some oregano. I use the whole oregano. Is the oregano leaves. Find them in like your Latino stores. Just gonna put some of that in there. I'm not going to add too much, but this is really good. It adds a lot of flavor to it. Salt. I'm going to be doing this two times. So I did once. Now, first, I'm just gonna go and blend everything in okay now i'm going to do another thing of salt because you need salt in there add flavor make sure you're generous with your salt but don't overdo it because you want your meat to be too salty Okay, now is my favorite part, which is the veggies. Shake it, shake it. Put that in there. It's like a green sauce. Look how nice that is. So that's it, we're done um, seasoning the steak. Now, to put it away, my eyes are burning me because of the onion. We're going to be using our Ziploc bags. These are actually from the brown sep hefty, hefty. Hefty, hefty, from the brown hefty, and it's for the stronger seal for the freezer one. You guys can use any Ziploc bags you have at home as long as you can fit the meats that you need. So what I do, I put them in here. I put the amount that I'm going to use for one day. I don't put a whole bunch of them in one because then that's I'm going to defrost the defrost the meat and then I'm gonna have leftover and then having to put that away, it's it's gonna go bad. So I just put the amount that I need for me, with my husband, my daughter, and I for one day, and then I defrost it when. When I'm going to use, I just take it out of here, put it in hot water in the bag, and then maybe I might be able to reuse this bag. But that's what I do, and I'm I'm not going to label it with names because I'm only going to be doing that with chicken, I believe, because I'm going to be doing different flavors on the chicken. But yeah, that's what I do. Let's continue. I wanna say that you are the one who's making me breathe. I hope that you can stay here, yeah, you can stay the night, I hope that you can stay with me. Alright, 
right, so I got my bags here. I'm just going to close them. Close them up. Make sure there's no airs in your bag. Close them up. Okay, so for my ground beef, I'm just going to throw it right in that juice that I left from the steak because I don't wash the ground beef. Um, if you guys have any tips on how you guys wash your ground beef, please let me know in the comment down below and I will give it a try. But I'm just going to throw it in there with the same juice and I'm just going to throw some seasoning on it. I'm just going to push it down, spread it. I'm going to add some adobo. I'm going to add some adobo. I'm not going to add too much to it. Some oregano. Salt. I'm just gonna add a little bit of adobo, just a little bit, not a lot. Almost, kind of almost the same as the other one. A little bit of garlic. And of course, our seasoning. Just a little bit because it's already, it already has in the bottom. I don't wanna add too much. For it to be like equally, just a little bit. And you're just going to mix it. Wanna be with you? Do you want me to? Wanna be with you? You're the one that I want. Okay, so for the ground beef, I'm going to be using the smaller sandwich bags because I'm going to be breaking them in smaller in smaller amounts than I did with the steak. So I'm gonna start. I wanna say that you are you are the one I need. I wanna say that you are and that's it for the ground beef. I was able to get four little bag of sandwiches. So I take the air out again and then I'm just gonna close it. Wanna be with you? Do you want me to? Okay, so my pad's clean, cooking pad is clean, and I'm just going to clean. I'm going to the next, which is the cube shape stick. It's like the stick. Okay, loves, it's been a few minutes. We're gonna take out the water. Put like this to it. And then take the blood out. Going to be adding my green sauce. My green sauce, sauce, sauce. Woo! Look that color. So green. Then I'm going to be adding salt. Of course, this one I'm only gonna add like this. I'm not gonna flip it and add it. Some powdered garlic, of course. Not too much because they already have garlic in there. So, oregano's. So, basically, on the steak, ground beef, and the cube shaped steak. I did the same thing, kind of. The chicken is the one that's going to be different. Put a little bit of adobo. Just a little bit. And that's it. Remember, it depends on the amount that you have, the meat amount that you have is the amount that you want to add your season. I want to tell you that I, I want you by my side. The way you move your body, the way I feel inside.
and we're just gonna pour it inside the bag. Just like that. They have some For my chicken seasoning that I'm going to blend in the little blender, I'm going to be adding three carrots. Green pepper. And cilantro. Also gonna add garlic. Chicken cubes, the non, this burn. Put everything in the squishy down there. Yeah, you can see it with the light. Can you see it there? That burn. I'm going to add one cube to the blender. Actually, one and a half. Had one there already. I want you by my side The way you move your body The way I feel inside I want to take you for a ride Wanna be with you Do you want me to So the chicken I'm doing a bit different from the red meat because I'm going to be adding this to all of the chicken and then I'm going to take different parts and adding different flavors to them I want to say that you are You are the one I need I want to say that you are The one who's making me breathe I hope that you can stay here yeah, you can stay. Uh, to put away the chicken, I'm going to be using the big hefty bags, and this is when I'm gonna be adding the different flavors. There's nothing that can stand in our way If you'd stay here, it'd be more than okay I feel like that's not me I'm gonna blend it I'm gonna close my bag Put your bag and just kind of But you could use a marker, which is so much better. Here, I'm going to add lemon. Lemon. Let's put it in the freezer. All right, so for the next one, we're going to add lemon pepper and paprika. Add 
things in there. I'm gonna throw it in there like that. Throw it as much as you want. And some lemon pepper. This lemon pepper is a little hard. Hickory and brown sugar barbecue sauce. Now we just add it in there. Add as much as you want. Okay, last but not least, we are doing the last one. On this one, I'm going to use a sandwich bag because it's only one chicken breast. And I'm going to use this one to make arroz con pollo, rice and chicken. This is just a nice size one, like this big. One of the sazón goya with culantro and achiote. I believe that's the main time we need. Want to add one of these? No, I'm just going to add one of these. I'm not going to add at all. Just going to add one of these. And that's it. All right, you guys, that's it for the video. I am all done seasoning all of my meats. I already cleaned up and disinfected everything. And most importantly, I wash my hands and I clean inside my nails because the meat can go inside your nails. But thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope that this video gave you guys some ideas on how you can season your meats at home. Ground beef, chicken, steak, pork, any kind of meat. Um, but um, most importantly, that they will last you longer. Since you're putting salt and flavor to them, they'll definitely last you longer. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope this video was a big help for you guys at home. If you guys are new in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And comment down below if you guys have any questions or any suggestions. And please don't forget to share this video if it will help somebody that you guys know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.